Good morning everybody. I'm Rachel and this is day two of my trying to make my brain more efficient blog. Uh, really trying to understand my brain and how to become more productive because over the next 30 days I want to see how I can make my brain more efficient, be more productive, get more done, be more focused and this morning, I actually I'm just recovering because I really took my emotional brain and my reptilian brain for a very big trip. And I was abseiling down into a cave. Uh, it's the first time in my life I've ever done this. And I was absolutely terrified. When Pierre, who was the guide, uh, got me into the boiler suit and into the uh, ropes and he strapped me in and we were right at the top. He was explaining to me in French and suddenly my brain just froze and I said, Pierre, je ne comprends pas, I don't understand what you're saying to me. And it was almost like my emotions then pushed me into panic so that I just couldn't understand anything that he was saying. And I was panicking that if I didn't understand, then I wouldn't understand how to manage the ropes or anything. So he calmed me down and he said, OK, and he took it slowly in French and he hooked me up. He made me sit in the ropes, in the emptiness, ready to go down. And that's when I started to feel a little bit safer, but still terrified. And we started going down. And at one point he said to me, look, because we came into this amazing cavern. I looked down and my heart was going. I went into total panic and terrified. And, and I said to him, panic. Uh, j'ai peur, j'ai peur. Um, I, I really went into that fight or flight and then the reptilian brain was kicking in with the survival and I needed to get down and I, I said to him, Pierre, I need to get down. And he said, relax, calm, look at the view, you're safe. So he coached me around it, which was fantastic. And then we went down a little bit more and I was getting calmer, but I was noticing my own reactions. And the interesting thing is that, you know, when we speak languages, we know that we can trigger into those blocks and into those moments of absolutely nothing functioning in the brain where, where literally we can't speak because we go into a fight or flight or because we freeze. And as a neuro language coach, we really understand, you know, what is happening. We, we experience it ourselves. And we understand how to coach people around these blockages to be able to then flow with the language. And when we get calmer, that's when the brain starts to go back into normal function and we can flow with language. Now, today was also for me an experiment with neuroplasticity because they say that, you know, the brain, we know, we have proof that the brain is plastic. It's not static. We can change the function, the physical structure of our brains throughout our lives up until the day we die. And they say that novelty and doing something new actually helps with that neuroplasticity. So today I had my dose of novelty and definitely um, I'm going to be seeing if I'm more productive later today. I'm calming down now, you know, after I did a, a beautiful tour around the cave on my feet, which was wonderful. And one of the reasons I'm doing this challenge is to see just how much I can do in the next month, because I want to write another book. I want to do my book, uh, neuro language coaching book in Spanish and do it in audio Spanish. And on top of that, this month we are going to be, well, I am going to be training the first trainers of my course. And this weekend, I need to finish off the manual for those trainers. So now I'm going to go back home for the rest of the day. I'm going to get my head down. Um, I'm going to do some exercise later, about an hour of exercise, just to clear the brain and see just how focused I can get the brain. So this was day two of my experience. And believe me, 
what an experience.